A test has 10 multiple choice questions. A student needs to answer a minimum of five questions correctly to pass the test. Each question has five options with exactly one option being the correct answer. If a student chooses an option at random for each of the 10 questions, what is the probability that the student will pass the test? So we start with finding the total number of ways in which a student can answer the question if he or she you know, start speaking at random uh, a choice for each of the multiple choice questions. So question one has five choices and a student going or picking a choice at random can uh, pick a choice for this particular question in five ways. Similarly, for question two, it's the same thing. It has five options, can choose any one of five. So there are five ways to choose an option for question two and so on for all 10 questions. So the total number of ways a student who is speaking at random, a choice uh, for each question can answer the test is five multiplied by five multiplied by five, 10 times. So that makes it five to the power 10. Now let's consider in how many ways can a student get exactly n questions correctly? And of course, n here is less than or equal to 10. So for that, the student has to pick the right answer for any n out of 10 questions. Now remember, there are 10 questions and he can pick the right answer for any 10 or he has to pick the right answer for any n out of those 10 questions. So that could be done in a total of 10 CN ways. So 10 uh, combination N. And pick incorrect options for the remaining 10 minus N questions. And each of those questions would have a total of four incorrect options to pick from. So the total number of ways in which a student can get exactly N questions answered correctly is 10 cn multiplied by 4 to the power 10 minus n. So now we have figured out how many ways a student can get exactly n questions correctly. We need to consider two things. When can a student pass? Or I'll start by considering the other way around, which might be simpler just from the standpoint of, you know, calculating the probability or calculating the number of ways, which is in how many ways can a student fail the test? Well, the student would fail the test if he provides correct answers to exactly zero questions, exactly one question, exactly two questions, exactly three questions, or exactly four questions. So in all of these cases, he is failing to provide correct answer to five or more questions, right? So now we have already found out in how many ways a student can, can get exactly n questions correctly. So for zero questions, uh, that number of ways will be equal to 10 C0 into 4 to the power 10 minus 0, which is 10, is equal to 4 to the power 10. And we can pretty much apply the same, uh, same equation or same formula for uh, each of the you know, following scenarios. And then if we add up all of this scenario, it's a little bit of calculation here to sum up all of these scenarios to see the total number of ways in which the student can provide uh, you know, answers that's not enough for him to, to pass the test. And that will be, 2306 into 4 to the power 6. So the probability of the student failing the test would be 2306 into 4 to the power 6 divided by 5 to the power 10. Because remember, 5 to the power 10 is the total number of ways this test can be answered. So that will be in the denominator. And the probability of him 
uh, passing the test would be simply you, you subtract the probability from 1 and you get the probability to pass the test. And it will be good to leave this here, but I just calculated the probabilities uh, with the calculator. So it comes to be 0.97, that's the probability of student failing the test, and 0 0.03 is the probability of the student passing the test. So clearly it stands out that uh, this, this strategy of, you know, guessing uh, an option at random doesn't end up with a very good chance of the student passing the test because that's a very good, not a very good strategy because now the student has got only 3% chance of passing the test. So that's why you need to prepare well for the test instead of, uh, you know, guessing randomly the answers to multiple choice questions because that usually gives you a very, very small chance of passing the test.